Hello friends, what's this behind me? Yes, I've been a busy boy, I've been mining. Just mining down the same the same hallway that we started our mine off in episode one. And as you can see, this hallway goes a long old way until... Oh, more diamonds, more diamonds, more diamonds, that's right. I got three veins of diamonds all within about 30 blocks of each other two right in front of my straight line but I couldn't I couldn't miss them if I tried so I'm absolutely rolling in diamonds at the moment but I shan't be uh, taking any of them just yet I want to wait for silk touch or fortune three until we do that so in between the episodes what I've been doing is collecting some resources we've got uh, a lot of building to do today Hopefully I've got enough stuff and the right stuff to make it look real nice. Is that some iron? No iron. Okay, so you may notice in a second something's missing. That might have something to do with the episode today. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But first things first, the home base. I've gutted it. I've taken it out. And we are going to make it look a lot more beautiful today. Because that's what we want in this world. Nice things that look nice. So here's my box of resources for today. I'm going to start off with some oak support beams. I think it always makes your builds look a little bit better if it looks like they are possible. And at the moment it's just a big hole in the ground. I need it to look like something is supporting this hole because surely it would just cave in if there was no there was no support so I'm gonna go with oak wood and I'm just gonna wrap it around each of the quadrants that we've got here and going to the entrance of each of our shaft and in the corners they're not going to be visible so we can just fill her up with some wood there and put some cobble in the corner there we go there we are and what I'm going to do is do that all the way around and uh, I'll join up with you again when that's all in there we go there we go last bit in so I want to do something about these corner beams I think they probably also also need to look like there's some support in there. Let's just have some wood coming down, get rid of the torch. Check that there. Yeah, looks much better. So we have that on all four quadrants. And I think already this place is looking 10 times better with really not that much work done so far, but we're gonna make it look much, much, much nicer. It's the third one, fit that in. And I suppose you could do this with uh, oak planks, but I prefer the texture of the of the logs, so I've just been chopping down a lot of trees in between episodes to make this possible. We've got nearly three stacks. Okay, so now for a building material maybe we don't like, but I'm going with the diorite, the polished diorite. And I'm hoping that some of this torch light will emit through it. I can't remember whether the slabs are let light through or not, but there and there. Let's finish this off. One, two, three, four. Hey, the floor's all in. It's looking nice. It's ceiling time. Hmm. No, it's not going to work. I'm going to hit my head there. Hmm. I don't know how to do this. Um, okay, another idea. Let's get this lit up first, and then I think maybe I'll try and do the walls first. Get the walls done first. Get my bricks. And that 
let's get started with these. We'll do the bedroom walls first. Just gonna blitz that all out. Might need the diorite for later. We'll just keep these walls flush with the beams. Maybe we'll leave some stone in there. Just uh, pepper it about. Maybe look like worn stone brick, perhaps. As long as it's not too much. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's do that on all of the other walls. Mm, actually, yeah, stone brick there. Okay, so that's all of the walls in, and not looking too bad at all, I like that. So now we need some lighting in this place, need it to look a little bit more uh, pretty, I'm getting a bit sick of, of torchlight, and sadly we don't have any sea lanterns or glowstone yet, so it's going to have to be lanterns that we're using in there. So oh, I already had some iron there. So get our nuggets and have some lanterns. I think nine should do. We'll pop one there, one there, one there, one there. Hmm. I'm not sure about this placement actually. Mm, mm, no, they gotta go. Let's get rid of them. I do like lanterns down here. I think it's probably the perfect place to have some, but I think we're gonna have to put them in, in just a bit more of a convenient place. It's gonna stop me from walking through. So let me sort out the lighting and I'll catch back up with you in a minute. Um, can't put a ladder there, no. Nope. Okay, put the ladder back. Yeah, and a water. Hey, there we go. Oh, let me click that. Okay, so we've got our lighting in. Remove that. Tidy that back up. Lighting's in. Walls are in. Entrance and exit sorted. And I also had a little bit of fun with the roof of the enchanting room. I think that looks nice, giving it a bit of extra texture. And I'll, I'll probably do that on all of the roofs around here, but at the moment they're just plain. Let's make this look ever so slightly more uniform. There's a stone brick. Okay, so more. There we are. So I think that's probably probably it for down here today. I might do some more refining off camera, but I think let's let's get ourselves up to the surface for the second job that I want to do today, and I'll sort out my inventory so we're ready. Okay, friends, back on the surface here at my little fishing area. I've been using this enchanted here to rod to get ourselves a little bow with mending, some name tags, an enchanted book, and a couple of nautilus shells, not doing too badly. But I want to introduce you to some new friends, and no, it's not that squid. We've got our wheat farm here, and a sugarcane farm, which I've been composting the sugarcane to get some wheat quicker. And with said wheat, I have been luring, imprisoning, and then feeding our good friends here, the cows. After episode one, unfortunately, I decimated the local cow population, and so we need to bring their numbers back up so we can get ourselves an enchanting table. As you can see, I'm level 28, and soon I'll be level 30, which means I can get some nice enchantments for my, for my bits, particularly my diamond pickaxe. I would love to get looting on that so we can get pick up those diamonds that we saw earlier. But 
for today's project, I'm going to have to get rid of my small fishing area that I have here. And it's time to start filling in some oak logs. So, see if you can guess what I'm doing here today. I'm just going to follow this all the way around and... Hello Mr. Squid, you've got to go my friend. Logs. There we go, the surround's all done. So we're going to fill it in with some birch. I don't think this is going to be enough though. <laughs> I've missed it, missed it. The parkour skills aren't up where they need to be. So this is our makeshift tree farm, which I never really used. I thought it would be helpful to have, have some trees growing right on the surface, right near where we were, but unfortunately never really got up here and cut them down. Whenever I needed wood, I needed a lot more, so I just I went over to, to where we've got our cows and was chopping down all of my trees over there, so didn't really get any use for these other than helping me find uh, where the home was when I went out collecting resources but I haven't really strayed too far away from the bases yet I've just been mining more than anything getting the resources together I'm sure when I first visit a village or I don't know desert temple something like that I'll make sure to record that but for the moment we've really just been in the swamp so I've finished taking out these trees and then we'll finish filling in the birch now I gotta say, I mean, the texture of the birch is one of the ugliest in the game. It's really not very nice, but once stripped, it's really quite nice. I, I like the I like the colour of the oak planks, probably much more than jungle. I think jungle's probably the one I like least, the plank-wise anyway. The wood I do quite like. Um, same with acacia. I'm not a fan of the planks, but... I do like it with with the bark on. So let's strip this all off. As you can see, it looks a thousand times nicer. Just got to be very careful as to not strip our oak wood that we've got. The recipe's not the most expensive, but it's it's not a bargain. I think it's four logs for three bits of oak wood and I'm always needing oak wood never have enough all right so finish stripping this off here I'm sure these will despawn but knock them out of the way for now oh, that's good let's get back up here and get our saplings right so I think I need to make a space about here and we'll make that five wide oh, we're back to day one I'm punching wood I must have an axe have we got an axe yeah god that takes so long to punch it doesn't it okay so we can drop this down one level lower And stabilize myself. There we go. Fill it in. It's looking good. Okay, so this is going to need to be raised up ever so slightly. Okay, I like the look of that. I think we're ready for the next part of this build. So, in my inventory, I'm sure you've all guessed what we're putting here. We're going to put some obsidian, and we're going to put it in a 3 by um, <laughs> 3 by 3 Yeah. We don't put corners on over here. We're not rich enough for corners. I'm not trying to flex on you. 
Yeah, I like the look of that. Let's do a bit of parkour. Get you in. Put one in the middle. One there. Over the other side. There we go. So that's in. I like the look of that. It's a good size. We just need to make sure it's not quite so visible from around the edges. I'll shop him down, shop him down, and raise him up. There we go, up, wood, wood. That's blocked off, do the same here. Probably the same around the other side as well. Just obscure view of it. I mean, this, this is really just the foundation of what we're building here. This is gonna go a lot higher. I've been thinking about how high I want it to go and I mean, the other, the naturally generated trees are, are one block wide and between four, five, and sometimes even seven blocks tall. And the better ones, the better looking trees tend to be the bigger trees. And so I think when building custom tree, we want to go a lot bigger. So this is nine wide. I think if I'm going to turn this into a full size tree, then it's probably going to have to be about 50 or so blocks. But let's chuck in some corners here on the plot, on the portal. I think some stripped birch would look nice, put in horizontally so we can see the sort of spiral pattern. Let's get that in. And I don't have an axe. Alright, time to make an axe. <laughs> And I think it's diamond axe time. Three diamonds. We can afford it. First diamond axe of the series, boys. Okay, strip you, strip you. Looking good. Alright, we've got our portal in. One thing left to do, which is our flint, our iron, and get a flint and steel out somehow. And very carefully, there we go, it's all lit up. So guys, thank you very much for watching, if you did. Uh, a bit of a different episode today, we did some building, but I think in the next episode we will probably go to the nether and get ourselves some resources. Well, until then, thank you very much, and I'll catch you in the next one.